Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I just wanted to put together a quick video to show you the latest updates that we've made to the Design Files platform. Now we had a lot of requests from designers who wanted to be able to uh, create invoices and submit those invoices directly to their clients through their Design Files account. So that functionality has now been built in and you'll notice that when you log into your Design Files account and you go directly into a project, you're gonna see an option at the top here that says invoices. So if you click on this, it's going to take you directly to the invoice overview page for this particular project. So you'll be able to see any other invoices that you've sent out to your client. You'll be able to see which ones have just been submitted and which ones have been paid for and the date they were paid on. If you wanna create a new invoice, you can just click this button right here. And that's gonna bring you directly into the invoice template where you can add in all the key information. So you can start by adding the appropriate client to this project. And for the most part, you're not gonna to have to deal with this because our system is automatically recognizing which project you're in and it's pulling up the appropriate client. The only time you're gonna see multiple names in this field is if you actually have multiple clients tied to this project. So if you're dealing with both the husband and the wife. At that point, you can decide which one you wanna send the invoice to, or you can go ahead and send invoices to both of them. You can add your invoice ID here. And this is the issue date for the invoice. You can set the terms for payment. So if you wanna be paid within 30 days, you can just set the net to 30. And you can also add in the correct tax for this project. So this will be depending, this will depend on where the client lives. So uh, which state they live in or which province they live in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add 8%. And then you can add in your client's billing address. So we'll just grab that now. Next up, you can start adding in the individual line items that you want to include in this invoice. So let's say your client has given you the go ahead on a number of products and you wanna make sure that you are getting your client to pay for those products up front before you go ahead and uh, make the purchase orders. So if you wanna add a number of products to your invoice, all you need to do is click this button right here that says add product from project. So we'll click that. And now that's gonna bring up every single item that you added in this project. So you have a few ways that you can filter this down. You can choose to filter down by vendor, or you can search by specific keyword or tag if you're looking for a particular product. And one of the best filters, in my opinion, is right over here, where you can actually narrow it down to just the approved products within this project. So if you've been using that uh, feature on design files that allows you to invite your clients in to review the product list and approve items for order and reject other items they want to see another option for, you're now going to be able to use that uh, filter to just show you any of the products that your client has already given you the go ahead on. Now you can choose to add all of these items to your invoice by clicking this checkbox right here and it'll pre-select everything. Or if you wanted to create a uh, specific invoice for a few key products, then you can just click the checkboxes next to that product. I'm gonna go ahead and add every one of them. And we'll just add all of these to the invoice. And you'll see that each one has been added as a line item. So you'll see a small thumbnail image of the product, the product name. There is a field for notes. So if there's anything you want to share with your client, you can go ahead and add it in here. Perhaps you want to share the uh, specific fabric or the finish that you have selected for this product. Uh, it'll show the unit price, quantities needed, the markup that you want to include for this product, the overall client price. You can include the taxes for each of the items within your invoice. So you've already indicated the exact amount of tax that should be added. If you wanna add that amount of tax to each product, you're just gonna click this checkbox right here and it'll go ahead and add the tax to each and every one of the items within your invoice. Now you can also include the shipping costs for these products as well and that will also tally up in the grand total for the individual items. And of course, if you need to, you can uh, delete an item from your invoice as well. So I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom here. Now, let's say that you wanted to add an item to your invoice, but it's not a product. Uh, so for instance, maybe you want to include the number of hours that you worked on the project, or maybe you wanna charge a flat rate for the floor plan that you created or any renderings that you did for this particular project. If you wanna add something like that, you can click this button right here that says add manual line item. So I'll go ahead and click that. And from here, I can add in a specific line item, like design hours. So right here, you can add in your hourly rate, 
and then add in the number of hours that you spent on the project. It'll tally up over here. Now, just make sure uh, if you're gonna be adding additional line items, just make sure that that checkbox over here is checked so that you can include the tax for that particular line item. And if you want, uh, if this is a case where you wanna add in a markup to your line items as well, then you can always add that in here. Now down here at the bottom of the invoice, we've added in an additional field for any notes that you want to share with your client. So you could be adding in notes for maybe how you want to get paid. If there's a particular way that you want to get paid, maybe it's through a PayPal account or a direct deposit or anything like that, you can go ahead and you can add in the notes that your client will need to make that payment. So I'm going to go ahead and add in all the information they're going to need to send me a direct deposit. And I'm just going to pull in the bottom corner of that text field so I can stretch this out and see all the information that I've added to this field. I'll just get rid of these spaces here. We don't need any of that. Okay, perfect. So I have all my information here and don't worry guys, this is just fake banking information. So nobody's being exposed here. Uh, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how you can use the invoice features. Now, now that I have all this information in, I can go ahead and I can save this invoice as a draft. If I'm not quite ready to send this out, I can save it as a draft and preview it if I just want to see exactly what my client is going to see. And I, or I could just go ahead and send it straight out to my client. So let's uh, save this as a draft and we'll preview it. And this will show you exactly what your client is going to see. So they're going to see your logo, the invoice details, the contact information for both you and the client, and the full list of uh, products that you've added to this invoice. So they will see a small image of the product, which will help them uh, realize exactly which item it is, uh, the product name, the unit price, quantities needed, shipping cost, taxes, and the grand total for that item. So as I scroll down here, we'll also see the design hours that we added in, uh, the, uh, the hourly rate for your design hours, the number of hours you spent and the grand total for that. And then they have all the information they need to make that direct deposit. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll exit out of this preview. And I'm just going to scroll all the way to the bottom. We'll just save this as a draft because there's a couple other things I want to show you prior to sending this invoice off to your client. So when you save the uh, invoice as a draft, you're just going to get brought back to the uh, invoice overview page. And there are a few things in this menu that I just want to bring to your attention. So you can always view any of the invoices that you have created. You can always go in and edit them if you need to, and then resend the invoices. You can also download the invoice as a PDF, which is actually one of the things I wanted to show you. So I'll do that in just a second. And you can change the status of the invoice as well from here. So let's say that uh, your client has paid for this invoice. You can go ahead and you can change the status from submitted to paid, and that'll help you keep track of which clients are currently outstanding and which ones have actually paid for your services. So let's just go back in here and we'll download the invoice as a PDF. So if you don't necessarily want to uh, submit the invoice directly to your client through the platform uh, and have them log in to review it, you can just download the invoice as a PDF. It's gonna look like this with your logo, the invoice details, contact details at the top, the full list of products and any extra line items that you've added in, your grand total, and of course, any details that you've added for how you would like to receive your payments. So if you want, you can go ahead and you can download this directly to your computer and then you can email that out to your client. Or if you want, let's just jump right back into the edit view here and we'll submit this invoice directly to the client and I'll show you the steps that they're going to take to log into their account and review it. So I'm just going to scroll down here and I'm going to click this button to send this invoice. And now that that's been sent, what I can do is I'll log out of my account as a designer and I'm going to show you what that invoice looks like and how your client is going to log in and review the uh, invoice from their end. Okay, so I've uh, gone into my inbox um, and I am now seeing the invoice that my designer has sent to me. So this is me acting as a client now. So I can see the... Um, design business's logo up in the top left. I can see the amount currently owing and I can click here or I can click this button down here to log into my account and review the full invoice. So I'll go ahead and I'll just click this button to uh, log into my account.
Now I'm gonna be brought directly to the branded login page. So as a client, all I need to do is add in my login credentials. And that'll bring me right into my account and directly to the invoice. So I can go ahead and I can review all of the details. I can check in to see that these are all the products that I have in fact approved. I can see the uh, number of design hours that have been spent on the project, the grand total, and all the information that I need to make the payment to my designer. So that is currently how it works. Definitely go ahead, log into your account and test it out. We wanna hear what you think. As I mentioned before, uh, we're actually gonna be building in um, some updates to the invoicing feature to allow designers to accept credit card payments. So that's not quite ready yet, but it's coming very, very shortly. For now, you can just add in the information you want to accept the payment in your current method. And uh, very, very shortly, you're just gonna be able to submit that invoice to your client and allow them to pay for it by credit card. Um, so definitely test it out thoroughly. Let us know what you think. If there's anything that you feel we can add to this invoicing feature to make it even better for your business, let us know and we can definitely look at building that in. Thanks for watching.